and dear students morning classes or evening classes sorry for morning it's okay today we have the indirect object and what is the difference between the direct and indirect object let me give you a brief idea about the indirect object some verbs in English can take two objects for example the verb give or um, you can say announce describe so many verbs in English they can take they have the ability to take two objects one of them is called the direct object the other one is called indirect object I have posted a video from YouTube to you it is recorded by me maybe two years ago about the difference between the two let me give you a brief idea about the it is everything detailed in that video I have posted in the group but now let me give you idea about the use of the prepositions when you postpone the indirect object after the direct you must put a preposition some verbs according to this table some verbs take two some other verbs take two or without for example some verbs cannot move to come after the direct object so for example the verb ask if you say I ask her a question it is not possible to say I ask a question to her not possible or for her no there's only one form on the other hand some pe some verbs can take for or without you can say I built I built a house for her or I built her a house I buy my son a toy I buy a toy for my son some other verbs must take only for okay uh, you can say answer cash the indirect object must come after the direct object so inshallah in the video you will see it for how the جدول طلابنا فقط عن موقع حرف الجر أو المخصص حرف الجر مع بعض الأفعال. Next thing about the positions of the indirect object. See, if no preposition introduces the indirect object, it precedes the direct. معناها إذا ماكو حرف جر لازم ولا بد أن يجي. بداية المفعول به غير المباشر الإندارت وبعدين الدارت If you can use according to the table if you can use a preposition so the indirect object uh, with its preposition comes after the direct Professor Baker explained oxidation to his students okay Third, if the direct object is a clause or if it contains a clause, if the direct object is long a little bit, a clause or it contains a clause, so it must come at the end, after the indirect. For example, Professor Beckett told his students that he had lost his watch. You cannot say Professor Baker told that he had lost his watch his students no the indirect object must come after the uh, the indirect must come before the direct object so this is all about the direct and indirect object the next clip will, will be about uh, speak and the other similar verbs thank you so much